Won't fight. You can't fight no more. Right, 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 right. You can't fight no more. We're going to lie down and bleed a while. We're going to get up and fight some more. Don't you say it with me. Repeat it after me when I say it. We're going to fight. Five, five, five. Video block five. Let's get started. Uh, video block five, man. This is weak. What a weak year. This will, uh, this will probably be my favorite vlog. It's weird because my favorite vlogs, uh, in turn, always become uh, my least popular ones. Like, uh, grind that shit. Like, I never say that in real life, but everyone says it to me. So it's like, yeah, bro, thanks. It's like how Vanilla Ice feels. Like when he said Ice Ice Baby, and everyone says it to him, he's like, yeah, dude, I never say that in real life, but thanks, thanks, anyways. Um, so this vlog, man, um, I want to talk about the dich dichotomy of responsibility. If I feel there was ever going to be like a, a Brutus Caesar knife in the back or an Achilles heel to my generation, this will be it hands down. Um, and this is, this is responsibility from, uh, from the viewpoint, not like I'm responsible, I have a job, I have to go to work, wake up at five and pick up my kids. Not that kind of responsibility. I'm talking boss, maven, leader responsibilities I mean this is a I'm talking elite responsibilities um and a lot of people can't handle this uh simply because um statistically a lot of people can't it's just the way it works there's something in economics uh that I spent time in my undergrad studying econ uh not to make this complex macro not macroeconomic theory but um there's something called Pareto principle and Hoover index um market shares also talk about this but it's basically a 20 to 80 percent rule 20 80 rule 20% of the people do 80% of the work. Um, so that means that if you want to be this elite, successful person, you will have to be this elite, responsible person. I mean, when you talk about the best and the brightest, a uh, few few times do we talk about responsibility and the responsibilities they take. Um, how this vlog kind of got sparked um, is when I took second place at Universe. Um, I lost to Justin Figueroa. He was a—he's uh, an Australian. I mean, he looked good. He looked phenomenal, dude. We were just talking like a few hours ago, like stand-up dude, like great dude. But I personally feel like I beat him that day. You know, I mean, that's how I feel. So when I lost, I was crushed. You know, I felt like I felt like I didn't have a, a man. And when I heard my name got second, I was just like, yeah, you know, just like one of like I had no nothing. My soul was empty, you know. So I was just on stage, just kind of like at a loss. It was what I felt like. And then this kid comes on stage, and he says, "Uh, oh Ryan, blah 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 blah." He's going on about my vlogs, and uh, he shows me his mom and his dad, and they all watch my vlogs. And at the time, like I didn't even, I couldn't, I I could give a fuck about what this kid was saying. Like I didn't care. I honestly didn't care. That moment, that moment, my brain instantly went to, dude, time, time, time out, you spoiled brat, time out, dude. This kid, shout out to that kid, admires you. What this kid doesn't realize is that he admires a different world of responsibility. He admires my, my world of responsibility for, uh, for bodybuilding and my fan page and my vlogs and stuff I do with Salvation. Uh... What he doesn't know is that the world I'm living in right now is the world of nothingness. You know, I was just in a world of crushed hurt, man. And so at that moment, I realized, like, oh, time to become a boss, man. Like, you, I would like to run my life like a CEO. Just because 5% of my world is crushed, let's set that aside for a few. I'm not going to let this take over my entire being. Let's address this kid, man. Let let me holler at him. Let me put on, even if I got to put on a fake smile for this kid, let me holler at you for a little bit. So I talked to the kid. Thank you to him. And I'm glad I met his family and everything. But um, at that moment, I realized really what the dichotomy of responsibility is. It's overlapping. You know, it's not selfish. It's not one-sided. Uh, it's not all about you. If you're a truly responsible person, you will have an overwhelmingly, overwhelmingly overlapping amount of responsibilities that all run concurrently and I didn't realize this till that day I didn't realize how many different uh, 
people I had to address and how many different moods I was in and just how many different my dad was there it's just so many different people had demands of me that day in my own feelings you know I wanted to lock myself in a room and uh just leave but I couldn't because that's what the 80% does they lock themselves in a room they have time out the same shit you've been doing since you were 10 years old what a true responsible maven a boss a leader does Man, you, you you swallow that pill and you take it, man. You when something sets you back, it's a setup as a, a setback as a setup for a comeback. You know, dude, you 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 take it, man. And that's a problem I think our generation has. Uh, when a problem comes, you just you just fucking cry about it. Don't get me wrong, cry. When the crying is over, let's get to what we can do next. Don't sit around and blame the world. I could have I could have pointed so many problems that day. I could have said. Well, this and that, and this guy, and this... I could, dude, I could have blamed the world. I could have blamed the world. If you're going to be a responsible person, there's a lot of delegation in your process and a lot of people under your network, but it doesn't matter, dude. If I'm the leader, if anybody under me fucks up, none of them get blamed. None of them get blamed. I take it all, man. Because when I win, I take all of it. I take all of it. And this this isn't an arrogant or cocky thing, saying I'm, I take all, but I lost the other day. Listen to me. I'm saying it clearly, dude. Regardless of how I feel or whatever I observed that day or whatever goes on, the fact of the matter is, I lost by one point. Now, back to the drawing board. I'm putting everything together in my soul so that I can get back on track and that never happens again. Because I, I'm taking that responsibility. At the same time, I'm taking that responsibility of the kid uh, who's just totally uh, super excited to meet me, you know. So, uh... From that, all I can really say is, uh, don't be afraid to be responsible because, like, every, I've noticed that every step of success comes four or five steps of responsibility behind it. There's far much more responsibility than success, um, and sometimes people say, you know, it's not worth it, or success isn't worth it, or things... It's not that the success isn't worth it, it's that the responsibility sometimes may not seem worth it because it's so overwhelming. Um, there's a short poem that I don't know by heart by Max Ehrman. Um, the poem says, You're a child of the universe no less than the trees and stars. You have a right to be here. And whether or not it's clear to you, no doubt the universe is unfolding as it should. Whether or not it's clear to you, no doubt the universe is unfolding as it should. I want to be an unfolder. I believe in you guys because I know you can be unfolders too. Uh, not because I like you or I sympathize with you. I mean, we have the strong parasocial relationship. You have a lot of vested emotions and interests in me, and I really don't know too many people. I try to get back to everybody as much as I can, but I believe in you only because this is perfectly logical and rational, and I've done it, and it can be done. You know, I've totally switched my lifestyle from what I used to be and I've become the man I am today only because I've taken every responsive step of responsibility, you know. Let go let let go of the what past has happened. Let go of blaming people. Let let go of uh finding loopholes in a system. Dude, f fucking respect the process and do it right. Do what you're supposed to do. When failure comes, accept it, man. Be a, be a man about it. Accept it and walk on. What can you do about that? There's nothing you can do about that, man. So if there's anything I want you to stick to stick you can be as humble as you want you can grind as much as you want you can exit homeostasis as much as you want but if you don't take responsibility for rainy days if you don't take responsibilities for your failures and if you don't step your fucking game up and be a man dude you'll you'll never know what success is you know i, I put i uh those 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 people who are that 20 percent who who run the world man they 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 would die for what they do you know if you if you haven't found anything to die for you haven't found anything to live for. So ask yourself, would I die would I do would I die for this? Like what would, would I go there? I gotta say yeah. Like I'd go. I do I do it. I do this. And you gotta you got, you got me fired up. But yeah man, don't be afraid to get in there. Swim with the sharks at any step of the way. Um uh, just kinda as a closing statement I wanna say to the young guys, uh take everything you do serious and take all your responsibilities serious i remember my first show everybody everyone around me was like oh it's my first show and blah 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 and they kept saying that it's my first show i'm only 19 i'm only 20 i never partake partook in that shit ever 
ever, ever, ever. I took it serious. I took it serious as I do now. My second show, I just took it as serious as I do now. My third show, I went pro at my third show. My fourth show, I got another pro card. My fifth show was a pro show. My sixth show was just this show. Six shows in. Oh, I've only gotten this responsible this quickly in this short amount of time is because I'm just extremely responsible. Extremely. I will take... If my year needs to be 90% work and stress and I can only have 10% fun, even that's a little pushing. Even that's kind of pushing it. I'll take it. But if you're not willing to take that amount of responsibility and that amount of stress, I'm not lying to you, dude. It's most. It's mostly bad times. It's mostly rough. You have to be willing to accept that responsibility like a man, man, swallow that pill. And uh, in the words of my mentor, Lane Norton, march forward. So, Pro International, half a week out. Peace.